Thank you very much, Ivan Chimulichi Gozi. Now, the last African Union European Union summit took place in Brussels in 2014 and brought together more than 60 European <coughs> Union and African leaders and a total of 90 delegations. They discussed the future of EU Africa relations and reinforced links between the two continents. The summit adopted a roadmap to frame EU Africa relations for 2014 to 2017, covering five key priorities that's peace and security, democracy, good governance, and human rights. Human rights, uh, human development, sustainable and inclusive development, and growth and continental integration. Global and emerging issues as well. Now, tonight we speak to the head of delegation, His Excellency Ambassador Attilio Pacifici. Welcome to NTV, Your Excellency. Um, the African Union, European Union Summit is taking place as we speak um, in uh, Abidjan, Ivory Coast. C tell us about um, what the summit is about. Well, first of all, there is an important political message to pass to the public. This is the first, it's the fifth time European and African leaders meet, but it's actually the first time that the leaders of the two unions meet. In the past, there was one country in Africa which was not a member of the African Union. This year, for the first time, there is a meeting between the European Union and the African Union. So this, from a political point of view, is an extremely important message. Then uh, there is uh, also another important message which is going to be, I hope, uh, captured by the declaration which has been negotiated. Uh, I know there have been a lot of negotiations in, last day, in the past days and today the negotiations continue. And it is about making uh, dialogue between uh, uh, partners, between the two unions, very regular. It is useful, it is important, it is a unique opportunity to have a dialogue between continents, but doing so every three or four years perhaps is not the kind of arrangement we should have. And so yeah. one of the messages is, well, at least at ministerial le level, the vision is that we should meet every year. So this is the kind of news that uh, uh, the summit is going to bring about in terms of engagement between partners. In terms of deliverables, well, I think the time has come to change the, 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 the way we work together. It's not, it should not be, cannot be anymore about uh, relations between a donor and a recipient. Is it, it is a relation of mutual respect. It is a relation about issues of mutual interest. It is a relation which has to be done to address global challenges. And um, if you ask me what has been the follow-up of the last summit, well, there have been a lot of issues. There have been work plans, there have been uh, uh, engagements, there have been uh, a lot of ma uh, many, many actions. But if you take it globally, I think it would have been impossible without a cooperation between Africa and Europe, for instance, to forge the vision 2030, which, is, which belongs to the United Nations as a whole, to the world. Without Europe and Africa, this wouldn't have happened. All right. I think... Yes, and then the last one, and this is also very important, yeah. it, is, uh, it is also about uh, uh, building an alliance to address global challenge, global climate challenges. All right, all right. This is the fifth summit uh, that's happening. Indeed. indeed. Um, what are some of the achievements from the previous summit? You talked about, I think, f uh, follow up. Um, activity or events. What has been some of the achievements from the previous summit? Well, for instance, uh, um, when it comes to, uh, I mean, the, 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 the focus of the previous summit, summit was about peace, prosperity and people. Um, so if you look at what we have done together, for instance, in the energy sector, in Uganda, take uh, Uganda, recently we have commissioned uh, two big power, uh, solar power plant. And this is uh, one of the deliverables, is one of the visions we, our leaders have uh, uh, developed in the previous sum summit. There were, I think, nine work plans. One of them was on energy, the other one was on migration there. Perhaps we didn't do as well as we could have done. And it's going to be again a theme uh, under the entry point and the new entry point, which is youth, which will be discussed also at the summit. All right. You speak about the youth. The theme for the summit um, this, this time around is investing in youth for a sustainable future. Why Absolute. the youth? Absolutely. I mean, it is a crucial, uh, it is a crucial uh, theme because we, the two continents, our continents are going through dramatic changes. And then uh, the future of our continents lies, it belongs to the young people. That is why it's important to bring them to the center of our discussions. What are we agreeing? What kind of vision are we developing? Can we do it without them? 
And this year, for the first time, it has never happened before, youth have gathered been, you know, from the diaspora, from Africa, from Europe. They have met together well before the summit, and they worked very, very closely together for, I think, five months nearly. And they have been participating in the summit. They are there listening, they are there telling, they are there expressing their views, mm -hmm. they are telling us uh, we will be running this world very, very soon. And we have expectations, we have visions, we have desire. And you, who are now running it, have responsibilities vis-a-vis -vis us. That right. is why it's so important to have them around. To have the young people. Indeed. In a few seconds as we wind up, the yes, EU please. is a key partner for Uganda. Briefly share what the European Union is doing in Uganda. Uh, it would be probably easier <laughs> to say what we are not doing what because we are, doing? <laughs> we are covering all issues. We are on, uh, we are on uh, infrastructure, we are on gr uh, green economy, we are in agriculture, we are in good governance, we are supporting the civil society. We have said we agreed on everything, all right. um, which is perhaps even a bit too much. But this is the European Union at the multilateral level. If you take the European Union and member states, we are a, a, a partner which is disbursing globally to African partners 20 billion every year. Uh, and we cover here in Uganda every single sector. There is not a single sector where the European Union and its member states are not involved. All right. Thank you so much for taking time to Thank speak you. with us, Your Excellency, the Ambassador Attilio Pacifici, talking to us about the AU EU summit taking place in Ivory Coast, uh, Abidjan, as we speak. That was your edition of Newsnight. It's time for a quick break. You're watching NTV tonight. We'll be right back.